You know, the score was lopsided, obviously, tonight at the end. But I thought uh, Western Carolina's kids, to be able to dive on the floor the entire second half when you're down 30-plus, showed unbelievable character. So I have a lot of respect for Coach Hunter. What he's done throughout his career, knowing when I was a little kid, my father, and he go way back. Um, I just uh, And their physicality was, was – uh, something we hadn't seen yet. So I thought that was very good for us. Uh, the way they blocked out, the way they attacked our big guys, the way they made us finish with strength around the rim, which we didn't always do. I thought they threw Nasir Brooks off with their physicality um, a little bit, Kyle a couple times, Gary as well. But uh, so I, even though the score was lopsided, I guess what I'm trying to say is I thought we got a lot out of tonight. And then obviously I'm happy with the way we defended in the second half to just hold them to 26 percent and well, we we did a good job of staying focused and uh, not looking at the scoreboard and maintaining our defensive intensity and our principles and trying to become a better basketball team which is the key your defense seemed pretty good in the first half too until like the last six minutes or well uh, you got to give them credit uh, we lost the uh, we lost uh, Halverson you know, he made some tough shots. We lost him in the press. You know, that's one thing about pressing. If a team is willing to fire it before you can recover, they, it's a way for them to get a clean look on, you know, off on your team. So, uh, again, like Coach Hunter is a veteran guy. So he basically said, if you're going to press, I'm going to put Alverson in the corner, and he's going to shoot it before you can run out there to him. <laughs> so that's what happened on that, on that one. You said before the season started you were going to play different lineups this year. With yeah, Anderson. I told you guys we're not going to start the same lineup every game. It's not no big deal. It's just I, yeah, I wanted to see how Nas handled being starting a game. I wanted to see how you know. I think Justin's earned a chance to start. Uh, nothing against Kane. I just think Justin's played really hard. He's worked really hard. Thought he earned it. Nas has worked really hard as well. Uh, so not you know not, nothing. No, there's no mystery behind it. Yeah, he had a little hamstring that was bothering him, so we pulled him out of practice yesterday. Of course, he wanted to play tonight, but I didn't think we were going to have to have him, and it's obviously a long season. But Bob thinks he's, you know, Bob Mangini thinks he's okay, so he thinks he thinks he could. Like if we were, if we had to have him, he could have played. What do you, you touched on it a little bit, but what do you hope to get out of these quote preseason type games? Uh, you're winning big. Yeah, so I like. Yeah, it's just, you know, I think, well, first of all, you know, I watch what, you know, Coach Hunter, I have a lot of respect for him. They had four starters back. Now, obviously, the game got lopsided, but, um, you know, it wasn't that long ago they beat Louisville. You know, so you, you just never know when you schedule these games, you know, teams lose guys. There's so many kids transfer out of mid-major programs now um, that you just never know what you're going to get when you – when it actually comes to fruition, it's game night. But uh, I do know that if you play Coach Hunter's team, they're going to play power basketball. They're going to be very physical with your big guys. So nobody, you know, Bellarmine can't do it. Emory Riddle didn't have enough bodies to do it. And obviously, Savannah State just let it fly. So, you know, Savannah State, we had to work on defending the three and transition defense. Tonight, I wanted to, I wanted to see how our big guys handled their physicality. Uh, and and now I can show on film when you don't grab the ball with two hands, look what happens. You know, when you stand up in the low post and the guy gets up under you, now you can't turn around and make your shot. They're walking up under you every play. Um, it's just a defensive tactic to walk up under a guy uh, that we didn't handle that well. So just, you know, there's some things that happened out there that we that, that as a coach, you tell the guys, but until it happens to them. Now, obviously, you know, you also want a close game to happen, too, at some point, because you're going to need to be able to deal with that as well. But there's things that did happen tonight. That's why I say, you know, I think the score aside, I thought that we got a lot out of tonight. Mamadou got an extended look tonight. Are you yeah. happy with this? I thought he had, you know, he and I had a little meeting about what he needed to do to to be, become a player. It's the same meeting I had with him before he signed his papers. So I asked him, if, you know, did he hear, did, 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 was he, did he really just think Cincinnati was such a great place he didn't listen to me? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so anyway, now he, he's a good kid, and uh, he took it to heart. And uh, you know, if he has zero turnovers, he's going to play because he he's got size. His defense is pretty good. He's got pretty good understanding defensively, and obviously with his wingspan and his standing reach, is the longest and tallest on our team. Uh, so he, he he's he's got a chance to obviously really help us. He's just got to understand he's not playing point guard. I know it's early, but. Is this recruiting class a testament to the way that you guys do things? I think it was ranked 63rd or something in the nation, and you've got. Well, I wouldn't know where it's ranked because I could care less. You know, I'm worried about winning games. I'm not worried about winning recruiting rankings. There's a lot of guys. When I got this job 12 years ago in the Big East, I got a list of who still got their job. There's a lot of guys that don't have their job that got way higher recruiting rankings. You know, we try to win games around here, graduate players and develop young men. I'm not interested in winning that stuff. That, that stuff doesn't mean anything to me. It just, it just doesn't. We haven't had a chance to ask. Can you tell us about Logan Johnson signing last week? Oh yeah, very excited. Logan Johnson, a great kid, great great guard. He's he, he can play. He's really a point guard, but he's so athletic and he's and he's still growing. Hopefully, he gets up to six three or four, whatever Tyler is, his older brother. Uh, that uh, it gives him options where he he's got the speed of a guy like Kane and Justin, but he's right now I'd say six one and a half maybe. Um, I think he's got a chance to get to six three, still filling out, but he's a great athlete. Another lefty, you know, not purposely doing it, but he's another left-handed point guard. Uh, but great, great attitude. Just got great speed and quickness. Uh, his upside is tremendous. It is because you can't teach what he's got with his burst of speed. Uh, so really, we're, we, we think we stole another good player. So a lot of credit to Darren Savino on that one. But, you know, we've, been, we've heard our staff, we, we reap the benefits of our staff being together a long time. And we know what we're looking for. Guys that can help us win, no matter how many stars they have. The only stars matter in, if, if we're generals. In my book, <laughs> if you're not a general, it doesn't matter how many stars you got. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Kyle, were you surprised to see you weren't starting tonight? I mean, I knew I wasn't starting tonight, so it was coach's decision. You're gonna have to take that up with him. But I was just, I was just excited to play and ready to play, and um, I was just there for my teammates. I wasn't worried about that. I was just worried about getting there and doing my assignments well. You said you were surprised, or you no? Didn't... I said I wasn't. I already knew. So what about you, Kane? You haven't been here as long. Same, same, yeah. We, we, we know going in, but at the end of the day, we all here for each other, so it don't matter who we start. We just trying to win a game. Did he tell you today or yesterday? Or? Uh, it was like sometime yesterday. Yeah. Was it just to, to change up things or? I guess, like yeah. we both said, you got to take that yeah, up. Yeah, so you got to take that yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> we, we ain't doing anything bad, but, yeah. you know, it's, it's a, we, we could start anybody. It don't matter who start with this team, so it don't really matter. You guys have scored 100 points back to back. We look it up. It looks like the first time UC's done that in a half a dozen years. Does that does that mean anything at this point against these teams, or what's the goal right now, other than winning, of course? Um, I mean, it, it, it means something to us because it's just giving everybody confidence to go out there and, and play well. Um, everybody cheering for each other, so it's a good thing for everybody to go out there and, and contribute. Everybody feels like they contributing, so it's a good thing to score 100 points. Okay. Yeah. Uh, not to make too much about you guys not starting, but when you <coughs> didn't start, did that make you more determined or, or I don't know? Uh, How'd, you react? How'd you react to it, I guess? Well, me and Kane were just talking about it. We, just, we, we come from basketball, so we playing in, we've been playing in elite leagues and forever. We've been coming off the bench or starting, being the best player on the team, being the last man on the team. So, I mean, it really didn't phase us. We were just, we were just excited and ready to play. What impressed you guys most about how the team played today? Um, unselfishness and uh, just being there for each other. Even at the end of the game, you can see when the uh, walk-on got in, everybody was happy. Even when we go through stuff on the court, you can look at the bench and see everybody else is um, cheering the guy on. We coming in seven for somebody else that might have made a mistake. We try to just forget about it. We, we know what happened on the court, just to keep your head up. So uh, we just try to stick to that and just try to get better every day. You really wanted the walk-ons to get to the score there. Oh, yeah, we happy they got in actually this time with two minutes so they can get some shots up. Yeah. Yeah, we were happy. They didn't take advantage of it. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, get it they'll get it back. 
Mamadou had a chance to get a little bit of action tonight. Is that the type of thing you see from him? Does it feel like he's starting to grasp what, what Mick wants of him? Yeah, he's a, he's a, has a lot of impressive talents and just some God-given things that he was uh, granted in terms of his height and his length, his jumping ability. So, you know, he's just got to get a little more disciplined, but he's going to be a great player. I've been telling him all the time, like, you have a lot of skills, but you just have to make sure you're disciplined, make sure you're paying attention. That's what college basketball is about. So, well, I mean, I was I was happy for him to see some. I was happy for him to see that success. You know, I've been we've both been just reinforcing, keep on going, keep on going. Kel, how, how did you feel after the first game the other night? You only scored five points, got into foul trouble. Uh, I mean, I was a little frustrated, but I was happy that we won. And um, you know, there's some things that I needed to tighten up, and um, I, I felt like. I was trying to just go out there tonight and and play hard, I'm not worried about not worry about that. Kane, can you talk about Keith and Trevor a little bit? I mean, obviously talented, but is it maybe their basketball IQ that stands out the most about the both of them? Um, <clears throat> I think they both got individual things that stick out to me. Like they both obviously smart, and they come from uh, you could tell where they come from. They come from good programs, whether it's AAU or the high school that they went to. Um, they uh, I don't look at them as freshmen. I just look at them as like little brothers. Like they they can come in and uh, like today you probably can't see it with Trevor, but he he uh, what he does every day in practice. He 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 helps his team. Um, he's probably the best shooter on his team by far, and um, Keith is probably one of the best on the team at uh, penetrating. So as it, as time goes on, you're gonna see more of them and uh, them becoming more confident on the court and helping the team more. But them two are fine. They uh, they come in and work hard every day and they just gonna be great uh, contributors to the program. They look pretty confident now for freshmen. Yeah, because they, they play against us every day. Like, as soon as they came in the door, they was, they was confident. Mm -hmm. They came in like that. So we had to kind of calm them down because they was bickering <laughs> and stuff like that. But yeah. uh, that's good. You want that, though, because, I mean, that's what you need you know, on the team. We're trying to do something big.